ah, sound of the sea. And a long telescopic pole as another means of pushing it out if we needed to. And lots of important cameramen and people around. <laughs> of course, Junior's a really enthusiastic member of the team. Keep egging us on. Good luck, Snoopy. Yeah. They should move faster. Mm. They are. Just beginning to catch something. Yeah, just catching the breeze now. Yeah. Yeah. So far, so good. That's funny. Yeah, it looks like he's changed his mind. He says, oh, I don't want to do that. But I think he'll turn. Yeah, Snoopy was having uh, second thoughts. Go on, Snoopy, you can do it. That was what was missing, perhaps. Oh boy, Snoopy! Hopefully he'll avoid that spot. Mm. He's still going very slowly. So he's going the right direction. Into the sun. Due south. Well, the bad news is that he's aiming for the needles again. Uh, we think it might be the effect of uh, weather helm knocking him to come into the wind. Well, even with a decent telescope, is right on the limit of visibility. Yeah, there's that rain coming yeah. in. 
it's going to be quite noticeable in a few minutes. I think we'll yeah, time to go to the cafe. The weather really has closed in. You can't even see the Isle of Wight properly now. Ugh, horrible. Right, we've come to another car park opposite his position on Cliff Road. No, that's not Snoopy. Snoopy's much smaller than that. The visibility's got a bit better. You can actually see the needles now. Got him? I think so. I can see these other objects yeah, in there. the viewfinder. Right there, right now. Oh yes. Got him? Yeah. back in front of that This is very slippy mud all round here. There's already been major landslides where the uh, cliff stroke hill behind me has collapsed in. Fortunately not quite so bad at this point so I hope to be able to climb up that way. Snoopy appears to uh, have the, the rudder bent round, but I suspect this probably occurred on striking the rocks and coming ashore, but I can't be certain. And there's a crack just above the keel, between the keel and the, and the hull, just in front of the rudder. Uh, I can see the little green light blinking inside. In a moment I'll contact Robin and ask him if he wants me to switch it off. So I've got to negotiate a way up through all that lot, which is going to be a bit of a task carrying Snoopy. In fact, Dick was at the head of the queue. I'm waiting expectantly for Dick, who should be here in the next half hour or so. The hero arrives. Carrying Snoopy. <laughs> Brilliant. And he looks completely unharmed. Doesn't matter about Dick, who took all the risks. <laughs> <laughs> right, Snoopy has been brought safely indoors and we're about to have a look inside the box just to see what state it's in. Is there any water in there? Well, it's moist, moisture. Um, can't, at first glance, see a great yeah, deal. It's moisture. Yeah. No? No, there isn't. No. So there's some moisture, but nothing that would affect things because everything is so double what sealed. The, what about the servo? The, um, the yeah, I would expect the li linkage would have flipped over. Um, let's have a look at that. Uh, oh. Now that's the right way round. Yeah. So let's just try switching it on and off and see what's happening there. Oh, I see what's happened, okay. It has moved on it, the shaft. Yeah, yeah, it's simply moved on the shaft. So yeah. what's happened is that, uh, right, we'll see how easy we can move it back. But that, that's fine. Um, so it probably was, as Dick thinks, when the thing carrying on the rocks, um, it probably then, uh, the rudder got a whack and it slipped on its uh, drive shaft. Yeah, so assuming that was the centre position. Yeah. That's it, and if you switch it off and on, it should go backwards and forwards 
just a test sequence. Yeah, there you go. That's right. 